Hi, welcome back to Canva Q. In today's video, I will create a custom frame for Canva using Figma. In my previous video about custom frames, I used Adobe software which worked perfectly. I received positive comments and appreciation from those who watched it. And the best part about making that video is that I help people solve a real problem and that was awesome. If you haven't seen the video yet, please click in the top right corner to watch it. And I think this comment in particular stood out most and actually inspired me to make this video. Also using the Adobe software was great, but I realized that the Adobe software is not accessible to most people. And that is partly why I would recommend using Figma as an alternative option. So what is Figma? It's a powerful user interface design tool that helps you create or prototype designs like websites, mobile applications, logos and much more. So you might be wondering, what does this have to do with Canva? So for the Canva user, why should you consider using Figma for creating your frames or any other vector based elements? Number one, you can create vector shapes and export them as SVGs which are perfect for Canva. Number two, you can create custom frames using free software. So simply sign up for free using an email and password or your Gmail account and have access to the free version of the software for as long as you'd like. And there is a Chrome version for the browser and a standalone native app as well. In this step, go ahead and select the pen tool and create a custom shape. Make sure that the path is closed by clicking on the original node when completing the design. Feel free to use the standard shapes as well, like a square or circle. And thereafter, please follow the exact steps when adding your image and exporting the file. After saving and downloading your design, it's time to import the file into Canva. And as I mentioned before in my previous video, it's important to import the PDF file and not drag the file into the media library as that won't work. When your file has uploaded completely, simply click on the file to open it. Resize your frame and add a background color that suits your design. And just like that, we design a custom frame using free software. I really hope this lesson or this trick brought value to your design process. If it did, then please like and share this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.